Hi, it's Judith from JV Art Resources and thanks for joining me today. I'm doing a video on some tutorials. I like to do that from time to time to give you recommendations. I always feel that if, if you're a beginner or intermediate or maybe you've been working in another medium and you're just new to colored pencil, uh, the best way to really learn some of the techniques is picking up a couple of tutorials. There are all different levels of tutorials for beginners and intermediate and even expert tutorials are out there as well. But um, I feel learning from different artists, getting a few different tutorials, you're going to learn different techniques and you'll just become more well-rounded, especially if you're a beginner. If you're new to colored pencil and you don't know where to begin, pick up a tutorial. If you're an animal lover like myself and you want to do pet portraits or wildlife, um, I would say start with an animal tutorial from Lisa Ann Watkins. Um, her uh, name is Animal Art by Law. That's the name of her website. And um, her artwork is beautiful, very heartfelt, soulful animals that she draws. Um, she's a wonderful, loving person, um, loves animals, and it really shows in her work. And um, she has some pretty great techniques. Um, I've been doing colored, uh, I've been doing artwork for many years, colored pencil for a few years now, and I've recently um, took a Lisa Watkins tutorial to learn how to do a different technique. I um, had learned that color blocking can actually help you um, hurry up the process a little bit. Um, colored pencil is a very slow medium and uh, there, there's nothing wrong with that but sometimes it can just take so many hours to get something accomplished and uh, especially for animal portraits and animal fur there's so much depth and dimension and color in the different hairs and even take uh, black fur, for instance, there could be many shades in there, not even black. So um, having layers down is really important. And color blocking your paper first um, is a great way to get some color on the paper, have your work look like it's starting to look like something uh, just in the early stages. And uh, that helps motivate me, anyway, to continue on with the work. Now, Lisa uses a technique where she color blocks on pastel mat with watercolor pencils, Faber-Castell watercolor pencils. Then when you add water to the pencil, it turns it into, it breaks down the binders and it looks like paint. And then uh, when it's thoroughly dry, you then use those same pencils and go back and add your fur and other layers and highlights and whatever else you need. So um, I've never done that technique before, but I wanted to learn it and I wanted to do my own dog. So um, just to show you now, I'm going to zoom in over here. This is my dog Robin, right here. And this is the tutorial that I followed. This is her Aussie dog tutorial. I figured um, he's black and tan and white and a little bit gold in the face, but I just followed along with this tutorial step by step. Here it is here. Um, it gives you the line drawing, which I didn't use, of course, because this is, this is the drawing that I used right here. This is uh, my dog Robin, and I sketched her on a uh, piece of art paper, the same art paper that Lisa recommends, pastel mat. And then I just followed along with her tutorial, obviously um, using different colors and uh, doing things a little bit differently because it's a totally different dog. But I followed along with this tutorial and uh, because of that, I was able to create that beautiful drawing of my dog Robin and I've been using that technique on animal art ever since and um, it definitely helped sped up the process and uh, Lisa's tutorials are wonderful. They really just give you that um, emotional feeling when you look at them. So I'm going to just show you a couple of other things from her. Um, this is another one I started um, a while back. I haven't quite finished it yet. This is um, drawing black fur. Um, wet and dry techniques, so similar thing, and you will learn how to draw a black dog. Um, then she has some other ones I want to show you. I have up on the board here. Let's zoom in a little. This is some of her newer stuff. Well, not this is, is a little bit older here. This is um, her donkey, which is, uh, oops, I'm sorry, here we go. This is her photo reference for her donkey tutorial. This is just wonderful. I'll show you what that looks like. This is the step-by-step -step of the donkey tutorial. If you um, look here on the cover, 
you could see all the different uh, phases that it takes you through so you get to the end and then that was the reference right here then um, she has mocha pup this is fairly new another beautiful heartfelt tutorial using similar techniques which is really great you'll get your base colors down in no time um, then we have a black cat Oops, I'm sorry I'm having trouble with my zoom today I don't know which way to go okay here is another tutorial and here it is here and then uh, one of my favorites that I am definitely going to be working on this is called hear my voice and that is a beautiful snow leopard I hope uh, this is coming out good I don't know if you can see this good here I'm sorry I dropped that <laughs> here's the tutorial itself let me zoom back out a little bit again so you can get a better look here it is here and again everything you need to know is right here if you were going to oh here you go there's another photo reference if you were going to work on a portrait of your own dog um, if you had a black and tan dog you might want to uh, pick up the Aussie dog tutorial or um, the mocha pup if you were going to work on a brown dog um, and then you could just follow along and use her techniques and then just make sure you uh, match all your colors up beforehand for what you are working on obviously they're going to be different but um, Lisa's tutorials are a great place to start for pet portraits and wildlife I highly recommend them if you uh, look in the video notes here at the end I will be sure to put all the information up where you can uh, get these tutorials visit her website and she also is set up with patreon so you may be interested in that as well oh and she has a YouTube channel so I'll put all the links down there below so thanks for watching today thanks for listening I hope you found some of this information useful and um, pick up a tutorial or two today I guarantee you if you do one or two tutorials you're gonna get some great techniques down and then you'll be doing your own work without a tutorial in no time thanks again for watching please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time